Alright, Shalawan, Shakabar, Buggy Hawada, Buggy Ashirala. Alright. Alright, this week's uh, motivation is uh, woe to them. Say, woe to them, they are wise, Salakia. Like Say, woe to them, they call evil good and good evil. So, that's our week's motivation, you know, this week. So, for those they call it, call evil good and good evil, you know what I'm saying? The Lord ain't dealing with that, alright? So, I'm going to get down to the scriptures. All right, uh, Isaiah chapter 5, verse 20. It say, Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness before light and light before darkness. Right, because our people, you know, two-thirds, you know, they, they, they basically quick to do evil, man. You know, they, 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 not, they not fit for this truth. You know, the darkness they in, man, is being homosexuals, you know, lesbians. Gang bangers, killing each other, selling drugs, all right, <clears throat> worshiping other gods. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 putting um, that's calling that's calling evil good, man, and good evil. All right, it's evil to worship other gods. It's evil to follow philosophy, man, of the uh, of Esau. All right, it's a war to them they call, which woe means destruction. And say, one to them they call evil good and good evil. They put darkness before light and light before darkness. Right, and that darkness in, is this world, man, because y'all basically, you know, this worldly game that y'all, you know, that that our people in, man. This worldly game. This worldly game like um, sports. Um, I think about my job on anything, you know, depending on, it's like you depending on the woman, you know. Following up behind a woman, that's that's in darkness, man. Instead of following behind this truth, everybody say, "Want to them that call evil good and good evil, and put darkness before light." That light, that light is the truth. So, you know, knowing your nationality, you know, what I'm saying, knowing who you are, and knowing who the true Lord name is. All right. Um. Put that put bitter before bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. You know. The sweetness, man, is this knowledge, man, because y'all don't, y'all, you, you know, y'all, y'all, y'all niggas, man, y'all don't want, y'all don't want to receive this knowledge, man, all right, the knowledge is this truth, all right, the sweetness, the sweetness of this, the sweetness of the truth is, um, <clears throat> is, is this knowledge and wisdom, all right, um, moving on, to say, um, want to them that are mighty to drink wine, and men of strength to mingle strong drink, and that's that philosophy. You got these holidays popping right now. You had um, what was this holiday that passed? St. Patrick's Day. Um, now you got Easter coming up. All right. Then about what three months later, but later on down the months, you got July Fourth coming up. You know all these different holidays, man, and and, and plus y'all plus basically um. That's that's the philosophy, and then on top of that, you got these other Israelite camps. They teaching um, they teach philosophy as well. All right, say one to them that are mighty to drink wine. All right, y'all worshiping Islam and Buddha, and you in these Catholic churches and Jehovah Witness. I can go on, man. And men of strength to mingle strong drink. Which justify the wickedness for a reward. Y'all justify y'all wickedness, so y'all so so y'all could um so y'all can so called be saved and all this, man. You can't justify your wickedness in this in this wicked world, man. We're in the last days, man. All right. Which justify the wickedness for reward and take away the righteous of the righteous from him. <laughs> so. Basically deceiving, you know, woe unto, woe unto you, you false prophets, man, that deceive, you know what I'm saying, that deceive the elect, man, trying to deceive the elect. That's why we pushing this word out, and, 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 um, and basically, uh, <clears throat> debunking, debunking the BS, you know what I'm saying, that's going on, that's going on, you know what I'm saying, as far as this truth, man, all right, you know. And and correcting, you know, correcting correcting those that 
bringing out false doctrines. Um, which justify the wicked for reward and take away the righteous or the righteous from him. Therefore, as the fire devoureth the stubble and the flame consumeth the chaff, so their root shall be rottenness and their blossom shall go up as dust because they have cast away the law of, of the Most High. Yahweh Bashimah was shy of hosts. Right? Because y'all ain't, ain't following what Yahweh Shai put out, man. All right, you know y'all ain't following the law, statutes, commandments to the best of y'all ability. Even though we're in our captivity, at least, at least, at least, at least, don't commit no, com don't commit no adultery. Basically, Jay committing adultery, man. You know, messing with each other, you know, messing with each other wise. You got, you got the nigga woman. You know, what I'm saying the Latino woman, the spick woman. You know, messing with uh, other, uh, other men's. <clears throat> Other women's um husbands and stuff like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Y'all justify y'all wickedness for reward. You know? Root they say shall be as the rottenness, and their blossom shall go up as dust, because they have cast away the law of the most high of hosts, and despised the word of the holy one of Israel. Who's the holy one of Israel? It's Yahweh shot. And we be out there week in and week out. This how y'all despise the word of the holy one. When Yahweh Shai was out preaching the word 2,000 years ago, he was despised. And what makes you think we despise today? All right? You got the common boards. You got the scoffers, man, putting putting reckless BS on the um, common board, talking talking mad trash, talking shit, you know, and... um. That's that's that they hate the word, man. They hate the they hate they hate the word of Israel, and and they they too much in darkness, man. They put <laughs> they put darkness for light, man. You know, that's why the Lord gonna the Lord is gonna destroy two thirds of our people, and Esau himself is the is the main um progenitor of wickedness. You know what I'm saying from the beginning anyway. So that's the reason why our people are heathens. All right. Alright, next scripture I'm going to go to Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 I ain't going to make this too long Make it short We got like 6 scriptures I think Alright, this is Proverbs 3 and 5 It says, trust in the most high With all thy heart And lean not unto thy own understanding so you gotta be taught, you know. You gotta be, you gotta be taught, man. Cause we was taught, we taught by the apostles. You just can't be opening the book and reading the scripture and don't and don't um know what you're reading, you know. You know, to, to receive good understanding, you gotta you gotta have a teacher. All right. Let me read it again. It says, "Trust in the Most High with all thy heart, which is your mind, and lean not." Lean not unto thy own understanding, in all the ways of knowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. So if you acknowledge your how about Shema Shah, he gonna direct your path. You know what I'm saying? Like um often in the book of Revelations, I forgot what scripture it was, but he say, um he say I um if you knock, he say I knock at the door. You know what I'm saying? Like the Lord gonna sup with you. You know what I'm saying? Like they had an angel sup with you, you gotta you gotta pray. For knowledge and wisdom and understanding. You know, and the Lord gonna give it to you. Say, be not wise in thy own eyes, fear the most high, depart from evil. Right, because you just can't put evil before light, man. You know what I'm saying? That's that that's evil. That's evil to to, to lean on your own understanding like you know something already, because we novice in this truth. Alright? It's good to be a novice and learn step by step in this truth, man. I ain't been in this truth. Over 30 years, 20 years, like the apostles have, you know, I've been, I'm, 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 I'm been in this truth for like six, seven years and I'm still a novice. I'm still learning, you know, and that's not, and that's, and, 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 and on top of that, it say, be not wise in our own eyes and fear the Lord and depart from evil. I'm, I'm going to go up real quick and say, trust in the most high with all thy heart, lean out unto thy own understanding. That's being proud too. If you lean on your own understanding. And you think you know it all and stuff like that? That's being proud. The Lord don't like proudness, man. That's why the Lord gonna destroy you for for those that think they know everything. 
he gonna he gonna he's gonna he's gonna uh he's gonna take that knowledge out your head, man. All right? You just can't be above your teachers, your masters. You know what I'm saying? That that taught you. All right. Gotta be humble. All right. Um, I'm gonna go to First John five and nineteen. First John chapter five verse nineteen. It say, it say, and we know that we are of the Most High, and the whole world lies in wickedness. So basically, the elect know they are the Most High, and the world is lying wickedness. So for us being in this wicked world, we know the name. You know, what I'm saying we know who we are. You know, according to the scriptures, and we know to be humble. You know, and we know to um, follow 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 the laws and have faith in the best of our ability. All right, I'm reading it again. It say, and we know that we are of are of God, which is the Most High Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, and the whole world life in wickedness. You know, what I'm saying everything the world doing is contrary is is <laughs> is basically contrary to the truth. You know, everything the world is doing, let them do it. You know. Like um the scriptures say um they say um if he ignorant let him be ignorant because this world is basically ignorant and we know who the power is we know who Yahweh Shai is you know what I'm saying we know we know we know we know to worship the Lord man you know what I'm saying the true name of the Most High all right um I'm gonna go to First Thessalonians Thessalonians you know, chapter five. Chapter 5, verse 4. It say, But ye brethren, be not in darkness, that the day shall overtake you as a thief. <laughs> he say, Be not in darkness, man. You know what I'm saying? Be not not be not be not like be not like the rest of this world, man. Because we was in the world first uh, once upon a time, man. Some of us was gangbangers, some of us was drug dealers. You know what I'm saying? Some of us was um Stick up, stick up, kids. All right, we was in the darkness, man. We was, in, we was in the world, man. Some of us was um, selling drugs, you know. Some, some of us was um <coughs> worshiping these holidays. Some of us was in um Islam. I included myself. I was in Islam. I was gang banging. I was doing all kind of kind of crazy stuff in, in, in the darkness, man. But yeah, how about Shima was shy, you know? He opened up my. He opened up my understanding to this truth, man. Just can't just can't lean on your own understanding like, oh, I got it. No, man. The Lord, the Lord chose a remnant of people, a remnant of brothers to um receive this truth, man. I'm read it again. Um it say, Ye are of the children of light, slack. You say, but but ye brethren are not in darkness. Five and four. He said, but ye brethren are not in darkness, that the day shall overtake you as a thief. That thief is martial law. <clears throat> that thief is um, RFID chip, the race wars, the famine, the earthquakes. All right. Mainly the famine, famine in the uh, martial law. And ultimately, the thermonuclear missiles that's going to be shot over here from Russia, Korea. You know, other 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 foreign countries, man. All right, that's taken. That that's been taken as a thief. Um, ye are all the children of light. I'll read it again. Ye are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor the darkness. And that darkness, man, symbolizes um being smacked with madness. All right. And not having the truth, you running around here docile. I don't know what's going on. You so too, you so too much in the world. You don't even know. You don't even know who the rough child is. You don't even know who controlling the world, man. You know what I'm saying? That's why. That's why. That's why Esau set out. 
pampering, pampering y'all, all right, for those that's not in the truth, with sports, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, women, you know what I'm saying, the, the, the fruits of this wicked life, all right, he said, ye are the children of light, and that's talking about the elect, we're the truth, we'll slock you, I ain't gonna say I'm the elect, but at the same time, I hope I'm the elect. All right, say ye are the children of light. That's the ones that's in the truth, man. That's the ones that's that's pushing the word. That's the ones that's on the highways and byways, man. And that and, and then the ones like you know that that the Lord chose to get out this um darkness, this world. Ye are the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness, right? We ain't niggas, man. We don't do niggery shit, you know. We're not. <clears throat> We're just not basically of this world. We don't do what the world do. You know? <laughs> the Howard Shot said, If the world hate me, the world hated you. So, what makes you think the world hate us? Because this world ain't gonna last too long. It's temporary. Alright? Um, There's more meat in here. It said, Therefore, let us not sleep as do others. But let us watch and be sober. All right. So if you're sleeping, you know, if you're not, you're not circumspect what's happening, man. And then you're going to be taken as a thief. So do others. Two thirds, Esau, the other nations. They all sleep, you know. But let us watch and be sober. Watching the news, watching the prophecies. You know what I'm saying? Watching what's going on. All right. You know. You no. Know, um, watching our surroundings and everything, man. You know. Basically, watching the prophecies that's coming to pass. All right. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna go to the next scripture real quick. I'm gonna go to Second Corinthians chapter six, verse fourteen. All right, this is 2 Corinthians 6 and 14. It said, Be not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For, for what fellowship has the righteousness with unrighteousness, and what communion have light with darkness? It don't have no, the communion with light and darkness, man, don't have no type of, uh, they don't have no, no, ain't no bond between them two. All right? Because the scriptures say be not unequally yoked with unbelievers. And unbelievers is the two thirds, man. How you gonna how you how you in the truth hang with niggas that smoke a lot of weed, man? You know what I'm saying? How you in the truth, you know, going to these parties and you know, hanging out every weekend after camp. You don't do that shit, you know. <clears throat> Other than that, if I wanna go out, I'm going out with the brothers, you know. Sometimes I hang out with my, you know, some of my family members. That's not the truth. Sometimes, but I don't do it all the time. You know, I don't be around them like that. Just certain times I be around them, you know, but not 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 necessarily all the time. But you know, love them from a distance, man. <laughs> uh, I read it again. It says Second Corinthians six and fourteen. Say, be not, be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship have the righteousness with unrighteousness? That's a question. You know what I'm saying? What fellowship that has unrighteousness with righteousness, man? It don't have no fellowship. That's like mixing. That's like mixing oil and water. You know what I'm saying? You say, and what communion have light with darkness? None. You know? We trying to get the fuck up out of here, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, martial law coming, and, and, and the famine is coming. It ain't finna be no food. The, the economic finna collapse. The money ain't gonna be no more dollars. None of that, man. So, we too much basically on alert, man. You gotta be on alert, you know, you know, you know, to be circumspect. It was happening, going, it was happening out here, man. All right. So that's my motivation, man. I'd like to say, um, <clears throat> call law, you know, double honors to the elders, apostles, great millstone for teaching us this truth, spirit, power, you have and um. 
Peace to the hopeful elect, man. Shalom.